Today we will see another pattern practice which will be a slight uh, uh, slightly modified from a normal pattern practice what we see like a drill. Today we will see the usage of lot of and lots of because some of my students have asked me to deal with it. So, today we are going to see a very very simple but uh, uh, frequently used uh, uh, phrase lot of and lots of. So, let us see what are the difference between these two and how we should use it. Lot of and lots of are common in spoken English. Normally, we do not use it in written English where we use many, much, more, lot uh, sorry many, much more etcetera we use. So, in spoken English we use a lot of and lots of they are very common in spoken English and they are informal uh, structures usage. We use it in an informal setup. Lots of the difference is lots of is more informal than lot of both can be used where we have to use lot of we can use lots of also, but lots of is a more informal one. We use lot of and lots of with both countable and uncountable nouns, countable and uncountable nouns. Now, I am going to give you some examples of uncountable nouns you see. There was a lot of rain last week it is uncountable. I have lot of friends it is countable. I have lot of story books in my house again countable. I have a lot of relatives in Chennai again countable whereas, there were a lot of people at the party again it is uncountable. There is lot of food in the kitchen again uncountable. So, lot of and lots of can be used in both countable and uncountable in front of both countable and uncountable nouns. Now, let us see some more aspects, some more characteristics of the usage of lot of. The first one, if the noun is uncountable, we use singular verbs. Please remember this is very important. When the noun is uncountable, we use is or has etcetera. We do not use or. So, if the noun is uncountable, we use singular verb like is or has etcetera. You see here advise, advise is uh, uncountable, it, we do not use it in plural, we do not say advises, it is advice only, piece of advice. So, lot of advice has been given to him, do not be carried away by this lot of means plural or uh, uh, lot of means plural. So, we have to use have, no it is wrong, it is an uncountable noun, so we have to use has only lot of advice has been given to him. There is lot of noise, noise is also an uncountable noun. So, we are using a singular verb here, there is lot of noise, there was lot of food again, uncountable noun. So, there was lot of food, there is lot of information, you can say there is lots and lots of information, lots of information, no problem. Now, then if the noun is countable, we use plural verbs, you see we use or or have. So, here there are lot of trees, this is the countable noun. So, we are using plural, lots of new houses again countable, where built is a plural verb. So, understand this the first one is if the noun is uncountable, we should use is or has as examples given here. If the noun is countable, we use or or have that is there are lot of trees, lots of new houses were built last year. Third one, if we use lot of or lots of without a noun, sometimes we will use it in a shorter form without a noun, noun is understood. When the noun is understood and we are using it in a shorter form, we should not use of. Again I read, if we use lot of or lots of without a noun, we do not use of. See in this example, have you got a lot of work? Have you got a lot of work? Yes, a lot. Here you need not say as a lot of work. So, you can end it with yes a lot, 
you cannot say yes a lot of. So, when there is no noun following it, it, it is stopped without of that is the way you should understand. Problems yes a lot, a lot of problems meaning, but I am not using problems after that. So, problems yes a lot, any letters for me yes a lot, again of is not used. So, understand this concept, if we use lot of or lots of without a noun being followed that is the meaning, we do not use of in those sentences as it is given here. Have you got a lot of work? Yes, a lot. Problems? Yes, a lot. Any letters for me? Yes, a lot. Now, I will give you some more examples. Listen to this. Say, you can repeat now, you can repeat these sentences. A lot of luck. Say, a lot of luck. A lot of friends or a lots of friends. I have lots of time with me lots of free time with me. I have lot of free times with free time with me or I have lots of free time with me. Lots of people attended the function, lots of people attended the function repeat. Now, we spent a lot of money say we spent a lot of money, we bought a lot of food say we bought a lot of food. Priya has lot of free time say Priya has lot of free time. There is lot of food repeat, there is lot of water you can say plenty of water, there is plenty of water but you want, you want to say in an informal way you can say there is lot of water, there is lot of money, there is lot of money. Do you drink much coffee? Yes, a lot. You see here I am not using of because lot of is not preceded by a noun, a noun does not follow. So, do you drink much coffee? Yes, a lot. We go to the cinema a lot. Again you see we go to the cinema a lot. I like reading, I have lot of books. We enjoyed our trip to the museum, we saw lot of interesting things. The road is very dangerous. There are lots of accidents, the road is very dangerous, there are, there are lots of accidents. We enjoyed our holiday, we had lots of fun, we enjoyed our holiday, we had lots of fun. It took a long time to reach here, it took a long time to reach here, there was lot of traffic, you can say there is, there was lot of traffic. So, it took a long time for me to reach here, a very simple concept which we can use it in our informal conversation and expressions. So, that uh, uh, this is also though it is very simple, it is very significant uh, usage, significant phrase which we should use in our day to day conversation. So, please learn it and enjoy. Thank you.